Hi guys, it's Coach Joe Michello with Performance One Advanced Sports Training. Again to the end of December 2023, and we're just going to go over goal setting. At the end of every year, at the end of every major training cycle, you'd need to reflect and see whether or not your goals were accomplished. Sit down and you're going to say, hey, what worked well in 2023 and what didn't work well? Okay? Did I accomplish my goals, both long-term for the end of the year and the smaller short-term goals that you should have set up throughout that year? If they did, great, congratulations. Now it's time to say, hey, we set bigger goals for 2024. Okay, a bigger lofty goal, winning a national title, winning a state title, losing 50 pounds, okay, whatever it may be. And then how far are you from that goal, okay? Well, if you're a first year wrestler, setting the goal to win, you know, the NCAA championship is probably not the greatest thing to set. Now that's a bigger long, long-term goal, but we wanna set something right now for that year. Okay, and then we want to talk about the process of how to accomplish that. Okay, so again, whether you're a weightlifter, you're a strength and conditioning athlete, if you're just a general fitness enthusiast and you're just trying to get your, your life back in the year, okay, everyone this time of year is going to set these New Year's resolutions, okay, which are not, there's nothing wrong with them. I'm a perfect example of that. About almost four years ago, I had a major health scare right around this time of the year that I had to say, hey, coach, you got to now take pride in yourself. I had to lose over 50 pounds, okay, of body weight. My, my health was completely dog shit, okay? My eating habits were bad, and you're like, hey, you're in a gym all day long. How did you let yourself get so bad? I did, okay? And it was all on me. I take full ownership of that. But then it was all, all on me to make that change. I made major sacrifices in my eating. I made major sacrifices in my workout. And I became extremely dedicated back on me. I put the ownership, I put the responsibility back on myself. Because at the end of the day, I was the only one that was gonna make those changes, okay? There's a great saying that says, <clears throat> when you're not motivated, rely on your discipline. And I like that saying, but I also like to say that if you're, you're not disciplined, then your motivation was not there as well. That you have to have a constant reminder of that motivation of why you're doing that. And if your motivation lacks, that means whatever that was you're using as your motivation was not strong enough. Mine was a major health scare. Mine was that I was losing control of my life, literally, that I had to make a change. And that was a major wake-up call that that motivation in itself said, you can't go backwards, that you have to be extremely disciplined in your eating. You have to be a di extremely disciplined in your working out. You have to be disciplined in your sleeping. You have to be disciplined in your supplements that you were taking, that I didn't, couldn't have an off day that there was no going back. And that, that desire and that uh, motivation kept living with me all the time, okay? So the same thing with you. If you're like, hey, I need to lose some weight. I, know I got a little over shape. Or like, hey, I want to reach that national platform, okay? That podium in, in the sport of Olympic weightlifting or that podium, that state championship podium in whatever sport it may be. You have to constantly remind yourself that why are you doing that, okay? Is that motivation for you getting there really worth it? You know, are you really desiring it? Then you have to go back and say, how am I going to do that from a process? So I like to say stress, okay? The stress of that goal, that stress of whatever it's going to take you to reach that goal has to be there, okay? You can't pick something that's easy. You can't say, well, I just want to accomplish by walking one step. That's bullshit, okay? You got to pick a stress that is going to be, to the average person, they think you're crazy. That's stress, then requires discipline. A plan of action that you set up, okay, that's gonna allow you to conquer that stress. The training, the losing the weight, okay, becoming a better wrestler, becoming a better football player. That stress, the workouts, the plan or the work that has to go into that, getting up early and running, sticking to the program, okay, working on your, your, your mobility, working on your rehab, eating good, going to bed early, that's the work. Hey, that's the discipline. You're constantly reminded from your goal. That's your motivation. The stress is always going to be there, and how you manage that stress is going to be huge. Then you accomplish that through discipline and through the work. That work is always going to be there. Is it going to suck? Yes. Embrace it. Okay? Don't complain about it. Embrace it. Own that you put yourself in that situation, that you made that commitment to yourself to go after that goal. <clears throat> then from there, through that stress, through that constant reminder, you're going to establish that plan, you're going to establish that work, and then you're going to go after your goal, okay? 
Don't beat yourself down if you don't accomplish those little goals along the way. Know that it is a longer process. Find victory in the day. Find one positive in that day that you went one step closer to your goal. The day you hit your, your goal for your, your water intake. You got that extra half hour of sleep. You hit every rep on your program. Okay? If you didn't make it up in some other way. Okay? I, took, I took 10 extra minutes and I did my recovery. I took an extra 20 minutes and did this. Those things are going to help you reach your goal faster. Okay? It's going to keep you on track. And with those little victories, with those little moments of, oh my goodness, I see myself one step closer to my goal. So that when you're climbing up to that proverbial mountain, okay, to your, your goal, your success, sometimes you do got to look back and go, man, look how far I came. I'm a big believer in keeping your head down and grinding, but at the same time, you got to look up. Look around and go, man, this is actually pretty. The view from this halfway point is actually worth it. That gives you that momentum and that steam to keep going to the top. But also to look back and going, holy shit, that's how far I came. And I don't want to start over again. I'd rather start from where I'm at now going up because I'm closer to my goal than going backwards and starting at the bottom again. Use that as motivation. Find those positives. But keep yourself grounded into your base of your, your, your roots. That what motivates you to start does not die. And that's huge. Look forward to working with you in 2024. Coach Joe.